Hey, what's going on folks? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow where I'm gonna to talk to you guys about something that I think is very, very interesting. Now, I must say right off the bat that this story I'll be telling was inspired for something that I saw on The Verge. Wanna give them props for this because that's where I saw it first. Don't wanna cheat them out of the story that they gave. But I have some other things to talk about as well beyond that. So you guys all know about cell phones. Everybody's got them and the technology that goes into them is pretty incredible. Nowadays, most cell phones will out any of the computers that ever came out a long time ago. And you can do a lot of things with these phones. One of the things is controlling drones. Now, there's a lot of different applications that drones can be used for. In the past, they've used them for, you know, helicopters that have no people in them, filming movies, you know, some things good, some things you might think are kind of, you know, Star Trek and creepy, but you know, some are really cool. So obviously there is the spy side of things, you know, you can have a drone flying through the sky, going out searching, doing its job as a war machine, you know, those applications exist. They could also use them for other things though. Picture drones like this. You get monitored all the time. They show this program where basically it monitors everywhere you go, everything that you do. Now, I know that some people are gonna say it's an invasion of your privacy and maybe in some ways that may be true, but there could be some positive things about it. Say you were a person who had medical problems and you wanted to voluntarily opt into something like this. So, you know what I'm saying? So like you're a person, you're an older person or whatever, you have a medical problem, you could opt into a program where they monitor you all the time because of your health. So if you're walking down the street and all of a sudden something happened, automatically it would go up, you know what I mean, to like their drone technology, alert something close to you, send the medical and possibly save your life. Now, that's something that I didn't see The Verge talk about whatsoever. They didn't actually touch upon that. They touched about a lot of other stuff, just not that particular one. Now, they have lots of drones for home use. People have these things, you guys have seen them, they showed them off at CES before, thing flying around, all remote controlled. Now, they're gonna have these all though for your phone as well. There's a couple of them that are out and they showed these as well, which is pretty cool. You know, you got your little thing flying around, you could actually connect cameras to it, or I think devices are coming out where you can use these to take it around, fly it up, and film. Now, invasion of your privacy. <laughs> Big stickler here. Now, currently, there are no real laws regarding this type of stuff. So if you have a drone, you're out wandering around, you know what I mean? Wandering around the neighborhood or something, like hopefully no criminals are out there trying to think their master plan up, you know, and trying to use it for any devious stuff. But I mean, literally, you could monitor a whole neighborhood and everything else, you know, with a little drone up in the sky. Um, in my neighborhood, we'd probably just find a way to shoot it out of the sky. <laughs> Down it goes, you know, but that's my neighborhood. Yours might be the same, you know, uh, you know, consistency varies. But drone technology is coming and it could be cool. It could be bad. It's all depending on your outlook. Think about farming, okay? Farming is one application where drones could be really cool. So going up and down, checking all the plants, making sure the plants are watered, making sure that the soil and everything is all doing good by things that are in the soil monitoring it. It could basically take care of a crop much better than you or me ever could because, you know, we're human. We have to think of other things. We might forget something. Hey, Bob, uh, did you remember to water the plants today? Oh, crap. You know what I mean? But if you had a drone doing it, you can get really, really good results. Also, check this out. Freeways, traffic accidents, things like that. If you had drones going up and down the freeways and there was an accident, automatically you could have medical stuff once again on the scene to take care of things just by that technology. Now, I don't really feel that that at all is an invasion of privacy. Anything that I think can help save a human life, I think I'm down with. I wanna know though what you guys have to think as well. In the comments below, let me know. Also, I'm gonna go over and write an article and I'm gonna go ahead and have a poll on there as well that your vote will count. So you guys will say, hey, you know, hey, cool, you know, these drones are cool, I'm down with it, you know? Or they'll say, oh no, you know, screwed drones, you know, I want them to oh, be shot from the sky like the evil bastards they are. You know what I'm saying? I wanna hear what you guys have to say. I think it's gonna be a very, very controversial issue in the future. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. You probably feel the same. If you walked out your front door and there was a drone thing flying around filming you, I think you'd be rather pissed off. I know I would be. I'd try to get my baseball bat and smack it right off the bat. So I really don't think anybody's gonna do anything too creepy, but check this out. Guys like me and you and some other guys out there who review stuff for a living, we're off, we're going to a rock concert. Like the crowd is, let's just say horrible. 
You know what I mean? And I have my little thing and it flies on down there and I'm getting front row access to the concert, filming the band and getting all my sound feed from somewhere else. So I've got this totally awesome bitchin' video that I can get the most incredible angles that I've never gotten before. Because think about it now, man. If I can control that thing cool enough off my phone, you could almost fly almost on a stage level and film the whole damn thing, front, backwards, sideways, all off a drone. So I think there are a lot of really cool applications. I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming out. Obviously, in the future, I think that there will be new laws that are passed because people are going to say, no, no, no. Okay, I don't want a drone on my front yard. So if you're putting a drone on my front yard, you've crossed my privacy line. And, you know, well, we've already talked about what's going to happen in most neighborhoods. So you guys know that. Like usual, man, I always love to hear what you guys have to say. Interaction with you folks is what's most important to me. Once again, I want to thank The Verge for giving me the inspiration for this story, but I think drones have a really cool future going on for lots of different purposes. I know the military, obviously, they're gonna use them. Hopefully we don't just create, you know, some kind of completely drone army to attack some innocent country, you know, for their like, uh, you know, let's say oil rights or, you know, mineral rights or uh, whatever rights. You guys know what I'm saying. We're known to sometimes to go out and uh, do some crazy stuff. So hopefully that doesn't happen. So anyways, you guys, I love you. I hope you guys like this video. I'm really totally like actually into this drone technology. Um, pretty much like in the next week, I plan on going out and buying me some type of thing and starting to screw with it and make videos with it because I just think it's cool. Anyways, like I said, hope you guys like this video. Hit that like button. If so, if you're not subscribed to Tech of Tomorrow, hey, I'd really appreciate it. And so would the gang here at Tech of Tomorrow. Like usual, all the information will be in the link in the description below, and I'll have a full blown article over on this and a poll over on www.techoftomorrow. See you guys later.